Good evening. Captain Matt Edwards retired here with another short video. I'm not sure if I did this one before, but uh, I was chatting with a veteran, and I thought it reminded me of the uh, problem that Tom Anderson was having with his uh, taxes on his uh, settlement for the qualifying retroactive lump sum payment. Basically, when the CISIP class were screwed out of their money that they should have gotten yearly, the government, in its infinite wisdom, decided that the person who you know, screwed Canada out of the time value of the money, which frankly is impossible because they would have paid their taxes if there was taxes due in the year it was due had they not had their money sold. Now, when Canada was cut in the Dennis Minouge class action lawsuit in the 2002 Minouge uh, federal court case, they had to pay a whack of money to people. Now, there was $2 billion paid to 10,000 disabled veterans, and one of them was Tommy Anderson, who got like 600 grand. Now, $600,000 sounds like a lot of money. However, he would have gotten that money in dribs and drabs over 16 years, but instead of that, they stole it from him until they got caught. When they got caught, they had to pay it back. So, back to the moral of the story. What I'm trying to explain to people why I think this is like oppression is that Canada decided to get the time value of the taxes that should have been paid because they figured they were out the time value of the money that they would have gotten interest on. Well, they stole the money, and they're charging the victim compound interest. Now, I expect you should be scratching your head and pulling your hair out right now because Canada should not do this to anybody alone. A person who said, you know, I think I'd like to sign up and protect my country and I think, you know, I realize I might get killed, but I love my country and I'd like to serve it. So Tommy Anderson lost uh, two legs and an eye, and Canada repays him by stealing his money. And when they get caught, stealing more in the form of unjust taxes, oppressive taxation. First of all, insurance shouldn't be taxed, so there shouldn't be any taxes. Secondly, if he was going to get taxed, he should have get taxed only on the amount of money that was supposed to be paid in the year that it was due, which is the purpose that was stated for the qualifying retroactive lump sum payment when it was enacted in Parliament. They said they were trying to help people out by, instead of putting it in the year that you had all of the money come in one year and would artificially inflate your income taxes for that one year at a really high marginal rate of taxation, they said, oh, we're going to let you spread that out over the years that you would have got it, and therefore you won't have as much taxes as if we gave it all to you this year, right? Well, then something happened between the implementation and the idea because they got screwed over. Now, it wasn't only the veterans. If you are a female and you're working for the federal government, they had this thing called the uh, pay equity problem. And they gave these lump sums to people that were women who didn't get paid as much as men. So, do you think it's fair for the government to take money from veterans and women, disabled veterans and women, and basically subsidize their damages, okay? Because the money in the pay equity that they got was damages, and the money that Tommy Anderson and the rest of the CISIP class got were damages. They were damages because they didn't get as paid as much as they should have. So that's damages in contract. Now, this video is going on much longer than I usually make these, but I hope I've explained exactly what the problem was. Canada even used the Treasury bill rate plus 2% as the interest rate, and the CISIP class only got simple interest at like 3 or 4 or 5%. It's like they just decided to screw these people, which were the people that should have been treated really well, and they decided to fuck them over.